Nordex Explosives was started in 1970 as a manufacturer of explosives, serving the mining industry of Northern Ontario. The company went through some very good times in the 70s and 80s, and then fell on hard times when the mining industry ran into some problems. And for all intents and purposes, in the early 2000s, the company was bankrupt and out of business. We knew there was no succession planning, and they needed some new blood to, to uh, breathe life into it. There was a decision made at that time as to whether to rebuild the company or really just to sell off the shares and the assets of the company because it's always been a publicly listed company. We did feel that there was value in having an explosive license. It was something, a product of value. And when they brought in new management, and I knew Jim from previous times, and he was uh, gonna run the place. I had a lot of confidence in him and so did our board. We invested quite heavily once again, but again for the future, because you could see a future. And it's a very, very large market, lots of mines, lots of construction, but the truth is the majority of explosives that are coming to Canada are being manufactured outside of Canada. And so we set about not only looking at different formulations for products that are unique, but also the equipment that supports those. So out of that, we've come up with different types of loading systems, different types of products, which are specialty products. We've really found a niche for ourselves to kind of put out the message that we are a Canadian manufacturer and you know we want to manufacture explosives for the needs of Canadians. I originally joined the company in 2003, and at that time there were three part-time employees here, and uh, the company owned one white two-wheel drive pickup truck and here we are roughly 10 years later there's 75 full-time employees we have just over 40 trucks on the road from large transport trucks to pickup trucks i mean we've gone from sales of i think nine hundred thousand dollars to now sales of this year close to 20 million in space of about 10 years reviving a company from the brink of bankruptcy is a daunting task Growing it exponentially is something truly remarkable. The real challenges, quite frankly, were how do you go from zero to become a successful company when you really have no resources? The traditional uh, financial institutions were looking at as, as a company that was pretty stale sitting here doing nothing and really weren't all that interested in lending us money. The Community Futures Office had some confidence in our abilities to do what we said we wanted to try to do and that was one of the original funding mechanisms that really quite frankly got us on our way to be able to start to take some next logical steps. Once we started to build up the credibility and people could see what we were doing then the traditional financial institutions got on board and uh, we've been pretty successful working with those as well now as we continue to grow. And the growth of Nordex is only just beginning. We just recently announced that we're going to be building new facilities in British Columbia. We are very close to making another announcement in another province that we're going to expand into. And we've had initial uh, contact with a couple of uh, people in the United States that are also looking at us as potential to expand into the United States as well. The opportunity is here and I really believe as financing comes into the area, there's great growth opportunities in this part of the province. With assistance from Kirkland and District Community Development Corporation, Nordex Explosives is a recipient of the OAC FDC's Entrepreneur of the Year Award.